Hey, thanks for tuning in to Pocket Ronnie. We're going to be doing volume. Volume of only a section of a cylinder. Not a whole cylinder, but of a section. So we're looking at 23C19. And so we, what we're told is we want the volume of a section of a cylinder. The radius is four feet. The arc of the section we're looking for is 45 degrees and the height is 5.2 feet, okay? What this means, when we only want a section of a cylinder, we have our cylinder, we only want 45 degrees. So here's like zero, and then 45 degrees, that's that little arc there. Basically, I want to know the volume of that little section. How much water can be in this can of just 45 degrees section of that can, okay? In my recommendation, I think it is the most logical or the easiest to find the volume of the whole cylinder first. We're starting with the cylinder. So the formula for the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared times the height. So 3.14 r squared is four feet. So four squared times our height, everything is in the same units, 5.2 feet, four feet, so we're good. So the volume of that, squaring your four first, we're using 3.14 for pi, so that would be 261.24 cubic feet. That's the volume of the whole can. Okay, so we know the total volume, but we don't want the total volume of the cylinder. We only want 45 degree section of the cylinder. So therefore, since we have to find out what fraction is that section of a circle. So you take the part over the whole. We are wanting a 45 degree section, but a whole circle is 360 degrees. So you reduce this fraction, 45 over 360 will reduce, both numbers will reduce by 45. So that would be 1, 360 divided by 45 is 8. So we want 1 eighth of the volume. So if we say 1 eighth of the volume, in the world of math, of means multiply. So we want 1 eighth times the volume of 261.24 cubic feet. How do you turn any number into a fraction? By putting it over 1. Now when you multiply fractions, you just multiply numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator, and you will see that you have 261.24 divided by 8, and that comes out to the volume of the 45 degree section would be 32.66 cubic feet. That's of the 45 degree section. In number 20, in 23C, number 20, continue on that problem. They ask you, in pounds, how much does the water weigh? So they want to know the weight of the water in that 45 degree section of can. And water weighs 62 pounds per cubic foot. So every cubic foot weighs 62 pounds, and we have 32.66 cubic foot. So the first cubic foot weighs 62 pounds. The second cubic foot weighs 62 pounds. The third cubic foot weighs 62 pounds. When we do that all the way up to 32, which tells us that we have to take 32.66 and multiply it by 62 pounds per cubic foot. I forgot my units over here. 32.66 cubic feet times that. You can see my cubic feet are going to cancel because that's in the numerator. This is in the denominator. And it's going to leave me pounds, and that's what I want to know, because I want to know how much does the water weigh in pounds. So taking the 32.66 and multiplying it by 62 is 2,024.61. It's okay if you're off by rounding pounds. So the water in that can or whatever this cylinder thing is, for only a 45 degree section, would weigh this amount. 